Hi, um, I'm just going to show you how to overclock an i5-2500K you know, to 4.5 GHz and the motherboard that I'm going to be using is the ASUS P8P67 Pro okay and the cooler that I'm using is the Cooler, cooler Master Hyper 212 Plus Um, so the first thing we need to do is we'll need to go to the AI tweaker. Okay. Um, we'd set this onto manual, and we'll leave that on, uh, on a hundred. You don't want to change that at all. And turbo ratio by all cores. Put here forty-five, and that will give you four point five gigahertz. We would have this disabled and the speed of my memory is 1600 1, and so basically depending on your memory stick uh, just put it at the default speed and for the power saving mode leave that on disabled overclock tuner cancel and for the memory timings again you put the timings that are on the label it's the label on the memory stick so I put mine go back CPU power management. Okay, we have this auto, the Intel speeds that technology have that enabled, turbo mode enabled, and leave all of these on auto. Alright, let's move them down. Load line calibration, put it at ultra high. VRM frequency manual, and I set it at 350. Phase control and duty control both at extreme. CPU current capability 140. Okay, now into the voltages. CPU voltage, I put it at 1.3. Okay, and that would um, it would be different for other uh, chips. Some chips might have that uh, you can put it at a lower setting or a bit higher, but uh, yeah. And the uh, the DRAM voltage, that's the memory voltage. Uh, again, you just put the default voltage, so mine is 1.5. It's all on the sticker. Okay, uh, here's auto, auto, and you put 1.7 for the CPU PL voltage. And yeah, have the spread spectrum enabled. Okay, so we'll go to advanced and then CPU configuration. Okay, so these are the settings. So we'll have this on auto uh, enabled, and this would be all. Uh, have this on disabled, and enable the that one. And uh, this one has to be disabled. The speed set enabled, turbo mode enabled, and this one is enabled. And the last two is auto. Okay. And we'll go on to the tool. Uh, so if you want to save your settings, go on to the profile. And then you just write down then whatever you want to write down. And then you just press enter to save it. And save the profile, yes. So you can see it saved up there. So if you have to, if something goes wrong, or you can just put it back on that. And that's, that's all it is. So, and then the last thing is obviously you save it. So you press F10 and just say yes okay so now um, it's overclocked at 4.5 we're just gonna have to go to Windows and uh, we have to make sure obviously that this overclock is stable so the programs that I would use is uh, three programs so Obviously the CPU Z um, that will tell you obviously information about the CPU. So you can see here it's 4.5. Also if you do see you know it's uh, 1.6 is because of the Intel step speed kicking in and that's what happens when it's idle it's just to save this power saving feature. So there you go. So the other thing you'd want to open is the uh, temperature. So you know the temperature. And um, yeah, this this program, the Prime ninety five, is to testability. So basically, what you do is um, 
you would uh, basically run this test, the prime, and if you can run it stable for an, I mean, if you can run it for an hour um, and there's no errors or anything, then you could say your CPU is stable. I was able to run mine for 12 hours and it was stable, so I know my settings are um, quite good for a 4.5 overclock. So, um, yeah, um, all I can say, yeah, and all I'm going to say is good luck uh, with your overclocking and, yeah, and thanks for watching. 7.7 .7. and for my memory 7.9, graphics 7.8 and the hard drive is 7.9 because it's an SSD. So there you go. So thank you, thank you for watching, thank you for watching.